What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pody and today we are in the new 2019 Ford Raptor, courtesy of Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, PA. Plenty has changed for 2019, so as always, let's start with pricing. And so when it comes to pricing, I am going to break it down by cab size. There is a super cab that is gonna start at $52,855, and the crew cab, which is the one we have today, that one is gonna start at $55,840. But so now, I am just going to jump right into this one for all the new features for the 2019 Raptor, because believe it or not, there are quite a few of them, including the new optional Recaro seats, with the Alcantara blue inserts actually, and that's gonna come with the carbon fiber trim throughout the interior as well. But that one goes for around $2,400, but that is especially a nice option if you were planning on going with one of the new blue exterior colors, including Ford Performance Blue or a Velocity Blue. Those are two of the three new colors available for the 2019 Raptor. And of course, a Gate Black or a Gate Black, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that is gonna be the third new color for 2019. And since we're on colors, there is also now going to be a color mesh shark fin antenna up top as well. But so now if you thought that the Raptor was great in performance previously, guess what? It just got better for 2019 as well. First thing I wanted to mention is a new feature called trail control. Essentially what this is, is cruise control for off-road situations. It's going to come with individual wheel braking. So as you can imagine, that is most definitely going to help you out if you're going through some rocky terrain in the Appalachian Mountains here in PA. Another new off-road feature for 2019 on this one is the improved Fox shocks with live shock ability or electronically controlled valving. And essentially what this does is the system runs on three algorithms and it's then going to be able to sense when the truck is airborne and therefore prepare the truck to brace for impact by switching to the full stiffness algorithm so that is pretty darn sweet and you always see the Raptor going off-road on YouTube I'm not gonna do it today because this isn't my truck but the fact that Fox shocks have taken that into consideration and actually improved upon it is definitely a sweet thing if you plan on off-roading the Raptor another new optional feature for 2019 is the new available B lock capable wheels that is going to add $1,900 if you wanted them but just so you know exactly what bead lock wheels really are is they essentially originated from military operations to help handle heavy torque loads and lower tire pressures in whatever environments that they were in and to put it simply in a nutshell these wheels are going to help keep the bead of the tire locked in the place essentially but so now let's touch on the fun part here the power plant of the 2019 Raptor and we'll start by saying when it comes to the power plant nothing has changed for the 2018 model Raptor, but I am still going to go over it. Anyways, powering this beast is going to be a twin turbocharged V6 engine, putting out 450 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 510 pound-feet of torque available at 3,500 RPM. Power is going to be sent to all four wheels through Ford's four-wheel drive system, through a 10-speed automatic with paddle shifters. And these aren't your regular plastic paddle shifters that you see in most vehicles. You guys can probably hear when I hit them here. These are metal paddle shifters and they go very well with the Raptor. And another cool little feature, since I have the 10 speed automatic in my Mustang as well, the Raptor actually puts the 10 speeds within the tachometer up on the gauges here. So you could always tell what gear that you're actually in. And I gotta be honest, I love to see that and it's nice that they do that because there are so many gears. Not that you can't keep count in your head yourself, but it's nice to know that it's there if you were curious. Next thing I wanted to mention to you guys is there is a mode button on the steering wheel here. And if you hit that mode button that is going to adjust the driving modes and they're going to include slippery tow and haul mode there is also sport there's normal there's deep snow and sand that is pretty darn cool and there is also Baja mode which is gonna hold the RPMs at a higher level this is pretty cool and lastly rock crawl mode which is specific to usually lower speeds let's so you guys know what I have to do next since I've mentioned all the driving modes I'm going to put it in sport driving mode here actually I'm going to put it in manual sport driving mode here. I'm going to test out the paddle shifters first here, see how quickly they react for us. <laughs> it's a little bit slippery, so that was a little bit fun, you guys, but dang, the paddle shifters definitely react very quickly. No issues there. And so now I'm going to put it back in regular drive mode here, and we are going to do a acceleration. Let's see how quickly we can get the 2019 Raptor here up to speed. <laughs> We're sliding. <laughs> So let me first say in regular dry conditions, maybe in warmer weather, 
This thing should be an absolute beast when it comes to acceleration, but when it's 40 degrees out and wet out, you are going to slide a little bit. Still a ton of fun though. But having said that, this is quite a heavy vehicle and braking is equally important. So let's hit the brakes. Wow. Actually, definitely comes to a very quick stop there. Very impressed. Also, for a truck, the steering feel is definitely very nice. It is on the heavier side, which I do appreciate. Not as heavy as the Ford Mustang GT, but still for a truck, it is a quite nice steering feel, I gotta admit. And as far as the ride quality goes, it does ride like a truck, so it is definitely as expected. I will also say, though, when it comes to cabin noise, it is surprisingly quiet. A lot quieter than a lot of other trucks I've reviewed. And when it comes to visibility, I've never had any issues there. I can see perfect perfectly fine out the back so visibility is definitely on point but so now enough of the driving dynamics i'm going to switch it up today you guys and let me touch on some things that you may not actually know about the 2019 ford raptor it's the first thing i wanted to mention is taking a look at the front grill there those orange lights in the front grill are actually there because the government mandates that any vehicle over 80 inches in width have them and so with some other trucks you may see them integrated onto the roof of the truck but with the Raptor I do like how Ford integrated them into the front bumper definitely makes it stand out a little bit different than the other trucks out there on the road second thing you may not know about the Raptor of course you know it's an off-road beast it's got skid plates everywhere to protect the underbody from getting scratched up by rocks but did you know that the running boards are actually made of cast aluminum most running boards out there are made of a combination of steel and molded plastic but again due to the Raptors off-road nature Ford chose to make them of cast aluminum so that is it's definitely nice that they are there but now let's make our way to the back because if you didn't know the ford raptor does come standard with a blind spot information system which you can see on the gauge display if you wanted to but did you know that the blind spot information system sensors are actually located within the rear taillights back there and in addition to that once again on the gauges you can see something called a trailer blind spot information system meaning if you were towing a trailer the raptor is going to pick up on that and then move the blind spot information sensors back a little bit so the Raptor can detect if there is another vehicle in the blind spot of your trailer as well so you don't go turning into anybody next thing I wanted to mention and again one of my favorites just above the driver's left knee of course you have your headlights but just above the headlight button there are two spotlight buttons one for the left side and one for the right side and this is essentially going to shoot LED lights out the side mirrors so let's say you're pulling into a long driveway in the woods where you live you could turn those spotlights on to help detect wildlife jumping in front of you or really whatever you want to use it for but I did find it pretty cool that they are built into the side mirrors on this one next thing I wanted to mention also found on that 8 inch digital gauge setup up front there is you actually have the ability to check out your off-road status on the Ford Raptor including your steering angle also the angle of the truck whether you be inclined or declined so if you were climbing a mountain or if you're going off-road that is definitely going to be helpful to have that displayed up there when you're doing that and through that screen you can also check out your power distribution and also your driving modes again helpful when you're going off-road next thing I wanted to mention and one of the first things I noticed when I first reviewed a Raptor for the first time is there are several aux switches on the ceiling of this one you might wonder what in the heck are they for because when you start pressing them you'll notice absolutely nothing happens. Ford anticipated that if you are purchasing a Raptor, you may want to consider modifying your Raptor. Very smart Ford because as truck owners often do if you're off-roading at night, it's definitely not going to hurt to have some extra LED lighting maybe that you can hook up to the Raptor and use these aux switches up top here to turn off and on. So that is pretty cool that Ford put that there as well. Next thing I wanted to touch on is some of the optional packages that you can get with the Ford Raptor, including what's called an 802A package that goes for around $9,400 dollars so kind of expensive package but this really gives you everything if you want everything really all the luxury features as well including memory seating factory navigation system also a bang and olfson sound system which by the way that reminds me let's turn on the radio and test out the clarity of this bang and olfson sound system that we do have in this one today wow this thing is crazy loud ton of bass and i actually just reviewed the bang and olfson in the ford edge one of my recent reviews and i am always impressed when it comes to bang and olfson they do a very good job with sound systems next package you may be interested 
interested in for the Raptor is second row heated seats. You don't always see that on every vehicle, but that is going to add $125. Also, a twin panel moonroof is available for around $1,500 if you wanted it. And then there's also an exterior graphics package that adds around $1,100. And that's going to put the Raptor logo on this one, as well as some hood graphics up top as well. And so if you are looking for an off-road truck that is also insanely quick, and at the same time, very quiet inside the cabin, the Ford Raptor may very well be a good pick for you. Not to mention, if you guys try looking up the Ford Raptor on Auto Trader, you will see that it holds its resale value incredibly well. Hence the reason I can still not afford one. But so anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the different setup that I had on this one. If you did like the video, punch the subscribe button in the face, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. And darling, where do we go? People everywhere. This lot is packed. Whoa. This thing's fun already. Haven't even started. This thing is fun. This is fun, man. All right. Off the frame.